Hi guys, uh, sorry there's not been no uh, updates uh, recently. I've not been able to get fishing because of old uh, Storm Sierra and our Dennis ruined, ruined two weekends. We call week and no fishing weekends. But hey, that, that, that's, uh, that's how it goes. But like I said, what I'd do is I would um, do a little video about the talk about the gear I use on River Don. Um, a lot of people that like message me. I ain't no professional. I just like fishing River Dawn and I enjoy it. So I put a lot of effort into fishing it. Like like commercial anglers do with they fish commercials where they've got the pole rollers set up perfect and everything. I like fishing rivers, so I put a lot of effort into fishing rivers. Um, and I fish River Dawn on and off for twenty plus years, twenty six years. Yeah, I'm fit. yeah, 26 years. Um, so I, I kind of do note river a little bit and I see how it changed, but I didn't fish rivers or any kind of match fishing for a long time. I only carp fished. Um, and I've only been back into match fishing, this kind of fishing, um, it'll be two and a half years, maybe maybe pushing three years. Obviously, and I've been catching it quite a few and people, a lot of people have been asking me to do so um, I'm gonna go through the feeders I use, the floats I use them, when to use them, I personally believe, and um, ground bait I use for done. What I've chosen now anyway, for the feeder. The ground bait I use on pole, it'll be, have to be a different video cause I know it's just, it's different, it's massively different to what I use in feeder, massively different. I'll, I'll explain a little bit about it today on this video, but um, it is massively different to what we use for feeder, and same probably with all, all river anglers, even even natural venues. What I'll do then, we'll start off with floats. Um, my favorite float for River Don, um, and probably really anywhere really I use this float from 0.4 all the way up to um, a three gram, but my favourite size is between a gram and two gram for River Dawn in an island, the AS7. Um, Drenum float. But River Dawn, some of the pegs are deep, like you could be top five and it'll, it'll be 10. To 14 foot deep so you want to float what's going to get you down and that one gets you down and gets you fishing quick because of the the wire stem it's quite it's quite a nice solid wire stem a nice long bristle what i do is i learned this off uh, a guy called ian lee i would always dot my floats down too 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 much like to maybe half half an inch but now what I do is I leave more of the bristles showing when I fish up river and let the bites, um, you know, you know, generate the bites generate more instead of trying to strike every little knock on the flow because we're bumping fish. And um, Ian Lee spoke to me said that you need to let the bites de develop. So what I, um, I did is I, I have I have that much tip showing now all the time. Unless I'm wanting to hold it back a little bit, maybe I'll overshot it a little bit, but I'll always make sure I overshot it so I've got nearly all nearly all the bristles showing. And when it goes under, that's when you hit them. For a two gram float, I use a six to eight, um, like the hybrid elastics now. I used to use uh, the uh, Preston Black, I think it's an eight for the two gram flow, but there is occasions on down when it's not even moving, and you can get away with a one gram flow. And on that occasion, I probably use a six elastic. In fact, I do use a six elastic, but it's the matrix slick what I use on that flow, the four to six, the yellow stuff. I think really good elastic, only for one section of the pole though, only for one section. So it's only like a meter elastic. 
So you get three three top kits out out of, out of a spool of that sleep. The next one is if I'm really really I'm, I'm, I'm bagging is the, is the the Reeve float. Okay, it's much the same as the the AS7, but it's an inline body. If it goes through the eye, fully inline there. Goes straight through inline body. That's the best float I've found for bagging. So it very rarely tangles. Um, and it, it, you never get any bust eyes or anything because it's in there. So if you're catching, if you're up and down and you want to catch 300 roach and they're feeding, that's 100% the, that's the of float. So wire stem, it's fishing straight away. Bolt down, that's the one. When I want to fish through water, um, but still have a bit of a body float, I use Alan Scott on the AS6 float. Look, oh, sorry, the AS8 float. Similar to the AS7, but this has got a carbon stem, as you can see, a carbon stem, and also. On River Dawn, it's, it's, there gets bad light, real bad light. Sometimes you can't even see it flow. And with these floats, you can just take the bristle out and you get three other colours and you can just put that in. You can change it to black without ruining it, without ruining a float or changing your rig. So I'll always have one of these set up, always. On River Dawn, the result, I don't like it. I think it would be natural venture with natural baits, but on the River Don, a lot of pellet fishing is done. Soft pellet, and this is the float I use for soft pellet, just holding on. If, if it's just, you just want in a couple of inch on, on, on deck, maybe four inch on deck, and you're just holding it back just steadily on flow. this is the float I use for that. Um, because you can just hold it back a little bit because of the body on there. And with the pellet, for some reason, but as a software, as it flows so like a commercial, they like it to drop, you know, slower. On the other hand, you can get them going on hard pellet, and this is the same flow. I probably would if there were a bit of pace on river, uh, but we'll come to that with this next flow. <coughs> a carp seven float this is my the float i use for hemp and tear fishing up river don and hard pellet fishing caught a lot of fish using these floats up river don um i watched a video of catch more media and i seen dean barlow using these floats for the hemp and tear fishing there must be a reason why i use them so i tried it and they're perfect anything from Half a gram, or oh, it's a gram I have them floats in. I don't really use them any bigger. Because if you need to use a bigger float than a gram, then you need to be going to this float. So that's floats coming from the done. What I'll go on to now is feeders. I was the worst feeder angler. I've, I hated it. But this past, past year, proper tuck to it, proper, I mean like, I'm going to concentrate on feeder fishing, every time I go fishing, I will concentrate on feeder fishing, I've never done, um, and I got, I felt like I got quite good at it, um, but then I was like missing bites, so I messaged Jamie Harrison from Catch Fishing Channel, and I explained to, asked him a few questions, and he, ran, he answered them, it kind of put me right, and also I've changed to braid, on every single line I use at River Dom. It shows up the bites tremendously. And with being so thin, you can get away with using a lighter tip. My personal experience is, I can use a lighter tip and see more bites than what people using using mono. I know, I know it sounds weird, but it works. I've had, last summer, some have just gone. I've had six bags over hundred pounds of bream at Riverdon using braid, and other people have been sat a peg further up or peg below and struggled. The bites 
are just so delicate, like this. Unless you're fishing air rigged pellet and then it, the other cells. I recommend anybody fish with braid on, on River Don or any river. I just prefer it. I'd give it a try. And these are the feeders I use on the River Don. Um, I try to use cage feeders all the time. These little Preston ones. These are brilliant. These little Zippler from New Fish. Billion. But I always start off from summer. What I used to do, put 20 of these size feeders out every single time, like a mini mini spod. And what you'd what I'd do is because it dons really deep, in some places it's 20 foot deep. So what I, I used to do is because what I I always fish I always fish a, a flood of carbon up with always. What I do is I cast out, I hit bottom, I count one, two, three, four, and then hold oh, still so it pulls it back like that. Then I'm fishing, if that makes sense. So you're casting out that way, it, it, it hits the water, it's going down, and counts about four. Depending on how deep it is, because you should always cast the lead out, see what you're fishing over, and see how deep, long it takes for lead, but match the lead size up with the size, and just a little bit for weight to bait. Then count to three or four, Hold the tip and they swing back to you. That, that kind of helps the up and I believe straighten. But I've caught a lot of fish on the Redon using the Preston bullet feeders in the small size in the winter, the big size in the summer. Because I can feed what I want in them, really, I can put pellets in whatever. But these work brilliant on the Redon, really good. And also the sun pegs at Riverdon were quite, the peg 65 at Riverdon, it's in a bay, and at about 50 metre-ish, there's a bar that raises up, okay, and it comes up, it's quite a solid bar, it's just about a couple of rod lengths off the far bank, it's a bar, cast everywhere else, it's a lot deeper, this bar, it's six foot deep on this bar, well it was before all these floods, and to get there you need a bullet feeder every time and that peg holds a lot of bream a lot of bream lead typical feeders i use at river don um because i use helicopter helicopter feeders every, on every rod um i'll go through that with you because I, what i do is i do it different to everybody else i've got from being a carp angler the helicopter rigs and the helicopter rigs what people use uh, in match fish are totally different i like to have a foot of thick mono, extremely thick. I used to use leg core, can't, we can't really use leg core on that, so I used to, I, and I build my helicopter rig on that section of really thick mono fluorocarbon um, from the carp fishing side of bias spool, and it lasts ages, and it's 20 pound, it's never gonna let you down, but then I build the helicopter rig on there, because I know one million percent will never tangle, it's never tangled on me, ever, and it never goes. So we'll talk a bit, ground bait, I'm pa I like bait, I'm passionate about bait, I've med bait um, in carp fishing world and when I got into fishing, match fishing, I, I walked into buy ground bait I'm like, what is all this? Surely you don't, you don't need all this, but I think, I think they do, I think they do, but I've settled with what I want to use now all the time, what I'll just buy all the time because it's just easier because it says what it says on bag, it is what it is. I'm, I've looked at others like Census, and they say, and then there's something else, and then, and then Van Der Nijde. I do like Van Der Nijde Turbo for River Don. Uh, Van Der Nijde Turbo, awesome for River Don Apollo. But we'll do that in another video. Um, so I'm going to talk about ground bait for feeder, what I use. Um, I used to use the Ringers, European, and the F1 Black, mix 50 50. Caught a lot of fish using that. But I've moved over to using mainline, mainline baits for feeder fishing. I don't think it's sticky enough for um, pole fishing in 14 foot, 15 foot. 
the water. But this one mixed in summer, you probably want to go 70% of the fish meal, 30% that. In winter, you want to do the other way around. You want more of this and to target a bit of everything, less of this. I probably, in, in winter, I'd probably, I'd probably go 80% of that, 20% of the fish meal, because you still want to be a fish meal content in there. This ground bait mix is perfect every single time. It's bound to its mainline, mainline, the best boilie ever made, the not to make bait. I can't, I can't fault it. I really can't. It mixes, it mixes. It smells fantastic, and it's two kilos, and that it lasts so long. You know what I mean? I measure everything when I go fishing. Absolutely everything. But everything is measured behind the pole cups. Um, I never just wing it, and then because I forget, if I measure it, I write it down in the diary. I've got a little diary, I read exactly what Dan have done on that session, so I know next time I'll try it. And if it do, if it's different, because the fishing is different, then I, I work out a formula. I've kind of worked out a formula. And if you're targeting the roach on the feeder, the short chuck feeder rock, where you can get catch about, I would say just past the polo line, you don't want to be holding 16 metres up the river because you can't ship it in possible banks like that. So. Said 11 meter, always fishing for roach. I always had this crushed emp, and this is the best one at market. I don't care what anybody says, this is the best one. Um, the best quality, I just believe it is. But I mix it up at home, I boil the kettle, I put it in a tub, and it goes all milky. And I don't chop that water away, I mix that with that. So I mix all the water from this with the dry contents of the ground bait. Um, for roach, it's, it's, it just works, it works. So I mix this and the proactive for roach on its own and brown crumb. So just to bulk it out, make, make it cheaper and I'm just a bit of full content but fish. But that's what, that's what, that's just a bog standard run through. We are going to do videos up River Don, 100%. Also, we do run matches up River Don. If you want to get in, in touch with me, just get in touch with me uh, through Facebook at Captain Carl Hughes. Message me about the matches up River Don. Um, the, probably the fairest matches on, my, on the stretch I've run them on um, in Yorkshire. You know, some of the matches last summer, they were an ounce between knowing it and winning it all. <laughs> it, it was incredible, though. So many weights, and then there would be 40 pound weights, 30 pound weights, incredible river. But yeah, uh, thanks for listening guys. I hope you like and subscribe. Um, next video will be, hopefully, rain, so it'll be on a natural venue, hopefully River Don. If not, there's some secret little ponds I know of. Uh, we're gonna go there and target some uh, silver fish. But yeah, um, brilliant. Thanks for listening guys. Um, hope you have a good time fishing.